With over 150 countries participating in its work, the IEC spreads across 98% of the world's population. We met with some of the people involved in the IEC's work to find out how they benefit from it. Uh, we believe that helps uh, global trade. This is uh, getting more and more uh, important for Panasonic. It's uh, instrumental in accelerating the adoption of new technologies and thereby creating economic uh, opportunities for uh, companies like Corning. The message that uh, we've uh, received loud and clear is that uh, the companies really want wherever possible to utilize global standards. Our customers are not experts in the products we are producing, but with the help of the international standardization, they can trust in us as an international supplier. The IEC has been around for over 100 years, and while technologies have developed or changed, many companies and organizations that worked with the IEC in its early years are still at work today. Corning has worked with IEC since the early days of fiber optics. NIST uh, has long participated uh, in uh, many, many IEC committees. We worked together with IEC for more than a hundred years. Participation in the IEC is, uh, from our point of view, I think strategic to our success. It's a, a great place for Corning engineers and managers to interact with other decision makers. And so it's very important that we have a relationship with IEC, that the views of our member companies can be, can be taken into account to influence the standards that IEC produce, because they're all selling into a global market. The IEC is the only standardization organization worldwide in the technical field with a broad consensus. In a world where technology is developing faster than ever before, it's important to stay in touch with the latest developments at the international level. Find out where electrotechnology is headed. Get involved with the IEC.